Welcome to another episode of Unbiased Transfer Talks. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different one. I'm just going to speak a little bit on Arsenal and um, what's going on with us right now in the transfer window and what I think we should do and what we shouldn't do and stuff like that. Because to be honest, today there's not been much news on many big deals or anything like that. There's a few little bits and pieces. But I feel like that stuff's going to come more out tomorrow. So I'm going to leave a lot of that for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, um, with Arsenal, there's been quite a bit going on um, the past few days in the sense of like talk. Like there's been nothing established, nothing um, like concrete really over the past couple of days of anything moving forwards. So I thought I'd just talk on like so the players were linked with, the players were linked with Selwyn and stuff like that. Uh, and I want to start with some of the players that are looking like they could be going or might not be going now or everything. And I'm going to start talking with Arteta. Uh, Arteta um, got contacted from PSG. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, Arteta got... Con uh, got um... Please, Lord, let me speak properly today. <laughs> yeah, Arteta got... Um... A call from PSG apparently asking him, him if he'd be interested in taking the PSG job and stuff like that. And happy for me to hear and happy for majority of Arsenal fans to hear he declined straight away. Uh, he said he's liking the project. He's, he's here for the project. So uh, he's staying at Arsenal, which shows that he believes in the project and he wants to see out the project and stuff. And listen... Arteta's a good manager, no matter what anyone wants to say. People think we could get better. Uh, to be honest, I don't know anyone that we can actually get that will be that. Like, we could get an Ancelotti. I feel like he would be better, yes, um, maybe. But, like, he probably won't come to us, you know. Like, if he leaves Real Madrid, he'll probably go Brazil. But um, for me, I'm happy with Arteta staying, and I'm happy to hear that news. He, um we're a bigger club than PSG. I don't see PSG as a big club. They're just the money club. They've got no real accolades. They've got no European... Like, see, like, winning the French League as PSG, that's not really an accolade, like, for me. <laughs> I just don't see it as an accolade, but yeah. So it's good to see Arteta. Um, Arteta staying at the club. Uh, it looks like Kieran Tierney is going to be staying at the club, something I'm really happy about um, because I did think he was on his way out. But today it's coming out that um, we're talking to T Kieran Tierney um, and it's looking like progressing well for him to stay. Um, Newcastle are now looking at Cucurella. That'll be more on that tomorrow, on tomorrow's episode. But um, yeah, for me, uh, hey, 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 Kieran Tierney, stay all day long, baby. I love Tierney. Uh, I'll be guessed if he stays. Um, I think there's definitely a place for him in his squad with the Champions League next year. And Tierney has been one of our best players since we've signed him, right? And we're finally back in Champions League. I think he deserves at least a season with Arsenal in the Champions League. Like, I feel like he's played for all the time helping us rebuild. Now we've got to Champions League again, even though it's not the end of the like where we've got to be. We should be winning trophies and stuff. He should be able to play for us in Champions League. So I think Tierney to stay 100% I'm on it. There's concrete evidence, as I said yesterday, for party leaving. Um, another one that I think that, that we're, we're looking at options. Like, I don't think that he's going to leave, to be honest. I, I, I can't see it. Uh, I think unless a stupid offer from like a Saudi team or something come in that we can't, like, listen, if we get offered 60, 70 million, for, for an example, for Partey with two years left and it's not looking like he's going to extend his 30, you kind of take it, you know. But then that would mean going to sign another player in the midfield that we would need, for me, uh, if we signed Rice and Lavia and sold Partey, we'd need another, we'd need another third, third centre mid. So um, I, I don't see that happening, to be honest. Uh, on the front of leaving, Balogun, once again, he's come out and said that he don't want to be loaned out. He only wants to either play for Arsenal or be sold. Uh, I think he's twisting Arsenal's arm a bit there. Um, I, I personally think he wants to play for Arsenal. And he's, he's hoping that twisting our arm, saying it's either sell me 
or keep me or twist Arsenal's arm to say, let's give him a season. I think we have to give him a season, personally. I'd be looking to sell Nketiah. I've said that already. Uh, Nketiah's had a couple seasons to prove himself. He's proven that he's an all right player. But for me, he hasn't proven enough to level us up. So Balogun might be able to do that. So we might as well give Balogun a try. Um, that's all I'm going to speak about on people leaving. The people that it looks like might be coming in, hopefully um, we, we can bring in quite a few players of quality, not just any old player, but quality players. So we're obviously linked highly with Declan Rice. Um, looks like it's hopefully going to happen, although it's gone quiet the past few days. I'm hoping that that's just us finalising it with West Ham and then it's going to be boom, boom, boom when it comes out. We're looking at uh, Lavia. We're in talks with him the same agent as Bukayo Saka. So hopefully we can get that over the line. We can sort something out there. Havertz is progressing well. I'm still 50-50 on it. I think I'm going to be 50-50 on it until he proves one way or the other. And that's the side I'm going to go with. I'm sitting well and truly on the fence for that one. <laughs> but yeah, the, 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 who else is being linked? I say though links, apparently we're still looking. We're not. We're, we're still monitoring it. We're not actually out. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think who else. There's no one really concrete that we're looking at. Like getting there's a right the right back from uh, Galatasaray we're looking at, but he's picked up an injury international break, so it's, it's it's a tough one. And I think to be honest, I think we're hearing about a few targets now. I don't think that's all our targets. I think they're gonna start. We're gonna ha like maybe look at more later down in the window, hopefully. So hopefully we can get some more players in. Um, we don't need too much, like, in the sense of, like, we don't need, like, eight, nine players, but I think we at least need six. Um, and I think six being majority, like, levels of player. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, maybe you can have one or two players sign in that's, like, just squad players, but I think the rest of them have to be players that you, you think can be in the starting eleven or be the starting eleven, if you know what I mean. So they can battle for it or they can be straight in there. I think that's the sort of players we have to look at. Another player who who uh, who wanted to come back, Alexis Sanchez. I'm hearing that he wanted to come back to the club. Uh, he called Ar Arteta personally and said about coming back, and Arteta swiftly said no to him. Now. I 100% agree with Arteta. Why do you want to come back now? You're 35 years old. Like, fuck off. Like, no nah, offence. I loved Sanchez. Yeah, I loved Sanchez. But he, he broke... Alexis Sanchez broke my heart because of what he done to us. When he was leaving to go to Man City, I wasn't actually that mad. Like, I'll be honest. I was like, you know what? We've had him all this time. We haven't backed him like we've had it's a bit like it was a bit like Tottenham Tottenham have Kane they never put the players alongside him to make a winning team and I felt like we'd done that with Alexis Sanchez so when he was going Man City I said you know what fair enough you know he'd done what he could for the club he's won FA Cups for the club he wants to go win trophies if he goes to Man City he instantly wins the Premier League that year and he'll probably go on to win many more trophies but then he chose to go to Man United. He chose to sidestep for money. So uh, he lost me there. He completely lost me there with that one. Um, obviously, it still hurts after all these years. But yeah, um, for me, if he, he was progressing going to, going to um, Man City and I could hear it. But Man, City, Man United, that was a cunt move. And, I, and, and he fucked up. And he knows he fucked up. Listen, I don't hate Alexis Sanchez, but there's no way I want him back in my team now. He don't bring nothing to, for me. He don't bring anything now. He's not better than who we got on the wing. I can't imagine him being any better than bringing Reese Nelson off the bench now. Obviously, Alexis Sanchez back in the day, there's no, there's no comparison. But Alexis Sanchez now, yeah. So that's it for today's uh, transfer, transfer talk. There wasn't much to talk about today. I've just been waffling, really. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow it's going to be straight back to normal with all the other teams, other clubs, transfers. Hopefully it heats up a bit because today, the, the last three days, the transfer window has been a bit boring. It's been a bit boring. And, listen, we all know that the transfer window is one of the best times of the year. Um, 
it's one of the worst times of the year at the same time, definitely if you're an Arsenal fan. Arsenal fans, you go from highs to lows in the transfer window. So let's hope this year can be a high. But yeah, this is um, the end of the video. Like, share, subscribe, comment below what you think about the transfer window, what players you'd like to see come in at Arsenal or what club you support and who you'd like to see come in, who you'd sell, etc, uh, etc. Et yeah, that's about it. Peace.